Hello everyone, welcome back to John HD Gaming. Uh, this is a let's try of the Political Machine 2012. Um, I bought this game uh, in the run up to the American election, and um, I was thinking of doing a let's try for this. Um, so let's get started on a new game. Uh, player's name, uh, let's use. Um, let me see. Um, what about let's use. Um, Let's use the name of a uh, George Clinton. Um, I'm gonna keep this let's play uh, to a long campaign. I'm gonna have a lot of starting funds. I'm gonna use a normal difficulty. Um, I'm not gonna randomize any values to so keep this a bit more familiar. So I'm gonna create this game. All right, um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more advantage. So I'm gonna pick uh, someone with uh, very good stats. Um, Barack Obama has pretty good stats. Bill Clinton has pretty good stats. Um, but the problem with using Bill Clinton is that his credibility is a little low. Um, it might be because of um, some events during his presidency, I might think. Um, we can use uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump has a lot of um, charisma. Mm, I guess that might be debatable, but he has a lot of money, and I guess that's uh, pretty much true. We can use some um, historical figures like George Washington, and um, George Washington is pretty awesome. His stats is uh, pretty amazing. There's Hillary Clinton, there's Joe Biden, and um, mm -hmm. yeah. One thing which I found uh, pretty amusing is um, I can click on these bubble heads and um, yeah, they will just nod. Mm -hmm. The heads will just move. All right, so uh, let's not get too distracted by this. Um, I can use John Kerry. I guess John Kerry is pretty decent. Uh, has pretty decent stats. Marco uh, Rubio, that's a up and coming uh, politician, I think. Pretty famous. Now that's Mitt Romney. Um, I'm gonna sort it by party, and we can see um, who we can use. We can use Abraham Lincoln. I think this will be uh, pretty crazy. Um, I guess right now I'm gonna try and use um, some guy who is a bit more popular. I'm gonna use John Kerry right now. Pretty decent overall stats, um, decent credibility and so on. So um, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna go against. Um, I'm thinking of going against Donald Trump. I mean, why not, right? There's a uh, Newt Gingrich. Um, he has excellent stamina. Very intelligent guy. Um, why not let's go against Donald Trump? I think it might be nice to um, exploit his uh, lack of credib credibility. Uh, credibility increases the effectiveness of your negative ads and decreases the effects of negative ads your opponent makes. So um, low credibility makes him uh, very uh, vulnerable to uh, negative ads and I think that's what I want to use. Um, but it will not be a walkover for us because he has a lot of money so he can throw a lot of advertisements and um, all that kind of um, good stuff I would think alright so I'm gonna start this game Carry vs Trump alright so um, this is Carry vs Trump in the presidential elections thriller the curtain has raised the bell has been rung the gloves are off and our two candidates John Kerry and Donald Trump are coming out of their corners. Hailing from Massachusetts, Kerry leads the Democrat ticket against the Re Republican New York native Trump. The two have a long road ahead of them, 81 weeks of campaigning, advertising and traveling throughout the country, trying their best to prove their worth as the next President of the United States of America. Which one will emerge victorious? Only time will tell. Alright, so let's get it started. Looks like Trump is... Um, Going right in. Right. Um, we can tweak the map a bit, shift the map around, but um, I'll try not to do it too much. It can be a bit distracting. Alright, so um, this is where we are starting. Um, just to give a brief, brief um, look of the game, um, there are some um, stuff that we can select over here. First, we can look at the number of electoral votes. Um, basically, uh, states such as um, Florida, I'm oh, sorry, California. Texas and Florida gives us uh, a lot of votes, um, so does New York, and I think um, New York is where Donald Trump um, 
originates from, so it might favor him a little more. Uh, the polling data shows us um, the um, traditional uh, Democrat and Republican areas, and um, this uh, shows us the state wealth. What it means to say is that um, these states are slightly richer as compared to the rest, and um, you want to do your fundraising in these rich states. All right, and uh, this button over here shows us the strategic planning. Um, what it means to say is that uh, the game shows us um, the states that we must hold, uh, whether you are a Democrat, which which is in blue color, or Republican, which is in red. These are the states that you must hold in order to win the election. All right, uh, this button over here is the awareness, and right now, um, most of America is not aware of uh, Trump and Kerry. And uh, as the game progresses, you will see more and more of these states um, changing in color. All right, so. Um, the polls show that we are pretty even, and 68% uh, of the country is undecided. Right. Right now, John Kerry has a slight lead, um, and yeah, let's try not to lose to Donald Trump. Massachusetts, I'm going to try and target the um, wealthy states first, and I'm going to do that by um, going to um, New York. Why not? No, let's go into uh, Donald Trump's backyard. I'm going to build a HQ. The campaign headquarters uh, will give us money every week, so I think that's pretty critical. In the beginning of the game, um, consulting officers allow us to hire operatives, and these operatives will be very critical in the I will consider mid to late game. Outreach centers are very important early game because they give us endorsements. Um, but since I know that Donald Trump is very um, cash heavy, I'm going to go for the uh, campaign headquarters. I'm going to let him have the outreach center, let him have the endorsements, and I'm going to hit him with the negative ads. Uh, this is my strategy for the moment. So I'm going to build the um, campaign headquarters. Um, I'm going to build one in Florida, try and get a bit more awareness going. Right, so I'm going to build campaign headquarters. Um, this is our stamina bar. We have no clout and no um, political capital. But it's okay, it's still very early in the game. Uh, let me see, I might want to go to Florida. Be a bit more awareness. Uh, so that helps me get a bit more cash later by letting me uh, fundraise a little bit more effectively. Alright, I'm going to enter in right now. And you see Donald Trump is moving over to Florida. Well, this guy is pretty smart. He wants all the um, highly contested states to be on his side. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look at the... Um, electoral votes and try and uh, go for those states uh, with a bit more votes I'm going to try and hit this area right I'm going to build the HQ over here this is Illinois which Obama is from I believe uh, I mean uh, President Obama Wisconsin um, I lack stamina so I'm going to end turn over here Donald Trump is uh, very busy He's building up a lot of stuff. I think he's building the uh, campaign headquarters. But it's okay. Uh, so am I. I'm going to build I'm gonna, a bit more of the uh, campaign headquarters right now. Not enough stamina. So we're going to end turn. Um, each of the flying around gives us, st as in consumes stamina. And if you see a question mark over here, which you, um, uh, which you might notice a while ago, a um, bright yellow question mark, um, that can give us a bonus in terms of a special operative or an opportunity or it can be um, something that um, pulls you back you know it can be a, it can be a plus or a minus and I think it's pretty random uh, looks like Donald Trump is building a consulting office and um, let me see what we can do I'm gonna move John Kerry over here we the HQ consulting officers gives us a um, operate this, but I'm not going to do that right now. More money is uh, critical. Get the HQ up. And um, I'm going to go to uh, Texas, go to the um, Donald Trump's backyard, so-called, and uh, contest Texas and uh, get him a bit nervous, I would think. Alright, so I'm going to build this area. I'm going to go all the way, right, and use up my stamina, and I'm going to enter over here. Right, so this is the uh, wrap up, a sort of a summary for the week. We have 81 weeks to go. Uh, 
sorry, yes, 81 weeks to go, and I think this is week 6. Um, I'm not too familiar with how the time flows, but let's take a look. Uh, we, have, we have mainly uh, built a lot of HQs, looking to solidify a win in Texas. We have visited the Democrat state this week to oversee construction of a new campaign headquarters. Right, we just want to attack Texas, right? Um, get Donald Trump a bit more nervous. Alright, so we have maxed out the headquarters over here. I'm going to try to go to um, California. Get a bit more awareness and stuff. And um, maybe fundraise a little. If I run out of cash. Alright, so I'm going to go to Florida next. I'm going to switch to the uh, polling data screen. And uh, right now, the polling data shows that um, California is on our side. And... Um, these red areas are leaning towards the Republican Donald Trump candidate. Uh, right, so um, I think we are okay. I might not do anything this turn. I'm going to go all out to raise cash, build campaign headquarters. Uh, these are the essential steps at the beginning so that we can have um, a lot of cash later. Alright, so I'm going to start building a bit more. The Tea Party movement, right. Donald Trump has won the endorsement of the Tea Party Movement. The Tea Party Movement is, the, is a grassroots organization dedicated to the reduction of taxes, spending cuts, and a smaller federal government. Well, this sounds pretty nice. Um, it does have its appeals. Uh, well, it's okay. Uh, we'll fight it out with Donald Trump. Right, so Florida is maxed out. I'm going to go for the other states. Um, Right, let's take a look at the um, electoral votes again. Electoral votes is pretty important in this game. We're going to fly around this state over here. Start building the um, campaign headquarters. Um, the other advantage of having campaign headquarters um, upgraded is that we can have more issues to talk about. We can focus on different issues. Now we're out of cash. Um, but I think I'm going to fly around to the uh, richer state. I'm going to go to New York and um, yeah, fundraise in Donald Trump's hometown. Let me take a look at the awareness. Wait, we have some awareness. Not too much. Um, we might give a speech later. Okay, it looks like Donald Trump is starting to hit us hard. I'm going to give a speech. Um, I'm going to say that I favor Hmm, I don't think I'm going to say that. I'm going to start um, being negative on my opponent. Negative on Trump. I'm going to say that Trump opposes uh, deficit reduction. And this will lower their Democrat appeal, independent appeal, and Republican appeal. I'm going to do that right now. Yep, um, as I had expected, Donald Trump will get most of the endorsements. Um, because um, I will be busy trying to get cash. While he's able to um, run around different states. But it's a long campaign, so... Um, I think it's probably okay. Again, Donald Trump opposes. Right, so now I'm getting a bit more recognition, a bit more awareness right now. And um, the state of New York is favoring me. I'm going to fundraise over here. 200,000, that's um, pretty decent. Um, I'm going to go to another state. No, not enough stamina. Alright, so now I have $1 million. Weekly news wrap up. Um, Alright, that's pretty good. More endorsements by Donald Trump. Sure. Uh, right. So now you can see that um, the blue color, right? There's a lighter blue and darker blue. The uh, darker blue means to say that uh, the state favors us uh, much more than Donald Trump. Uh, for example, when you look at the lighter blue, we can see that the difference is, uh, is a bit less obvious. And uh, if we look at the red, it says that Donald Trump, uh, I mean, it shows that the polling data says that Donald Trump is uh, more favored. Right, so we're going to move around the different states and uh, start building um, headquarters. Try and lay the groundwork for more cash. Alright, so I'm going to enter. Right, so this is the, uh, these is the um, question mark that I was talking about. Right, so now um, Texas is um, heavily favoring Donald Trump. Uh, I was hoping that that would not be the case so early in game. Right, um, yep, so the top issues is um, Obamacare, 
I think that might be Donald Trump trying to uh, hit us in the campaign. But I'm going to hit him with um, advertisements uh, later. Right, we have rested so much that our maximum stamina has increased, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to pick the other states and I'm going to build um, other buildings like um, the consulting offices. I'm going to start hiring operatives. Go to different states and um, get the operatives going. I think there is a rich state somewhere, this one with high electoral votes, that is the state of Washington so I'm going to go there and um, I'm going to enter start building more headquarters right, um, I'm going to give the endorsements away to him I hope they will not hurt me too much later I'm going to be HQ again um, right, um, these are advertisements a uh, newspaper ad that is dropped by Donald Trump He's starting to use advertisements to um, sway the public opinion. I'm going to get more consulting offices. Not enough money. Um, uh, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to do fundraising because um, my awareness is pretty low. Alright, looks like the state of California is um, leaning towards me. And uh, I'm going to shift my um, operators around. Each time when I upgrade my... Um, headquarters to the maximum, I'm given a political operative that increases my awareness by 1% in the state um, alright so now we have seen the um, darker shades of red and darker shades of blue, now we see a purple color this purple color means that um, this state is highly contested it is very even, even support for both uh, John Kerry and Donald Trump um, I might try to pick up one of these uh, question marks of political opportunity later but right now I'm going to fly around building the um, consulting offices uh, let's see if we can do that um, we have no political clout but I'm going to hire an operative I'm going to hire a um, speech writer that will increase our charisma and speeches become more effective so that will be good um, let's see if we can hire one more this fashion consultant ads become more effective I'm not going to do ads now I'm going to do uh, maybe interviews so I'm going to do a um, PR consultant I think we may have enough points to bring in the fashion consultant yeah we may have so um, alright so two, two consultants a week um, I'm going to wait a while I'm going to go here um, get another campaign headquarters I'm going to rest up Okay, looks like Donald Trump is um, hitting the campaign road very hard and I'm gonna do that soon. I'm gonna try and go into these areas right now. Right, more endorsements to Donald Trump. Fortunately, it's a long campaign, so um, as long as we lay the groundwork well, we should be able to catch up pretty easily. Uh, not enough cash, 500,000 needed. We have good awareness, I'm gonna give a speech. Um, I'm gonna say that Donald Trump opposes uh, the uh, reduction of employment I'm going to be all negative on Donald Trump well it's nothing personal, it's just about winning the uh, game this is not a real election um, ok so um, I'm going to fundraise uh, $56,000 is um, not amazing alright so um, I'm going to upgrade my HQ over here and I'm going to go to this state over here, the state of Indiana build a HQ right so I, s I see a uh, opportunity over here, what is this, an interview for John Kerry um, interviews are risky, uh, depends on uh, it depends on how what kind of answers you select in the interview uh, can we can we travel? Uh, can we just fundraise enough for our air ticket to travel? alright so um, we will be appearing on uh, Barry King Live this is a softer show where the questions will be more about character issues Barry King Live is generally a show you will want to be on you'll be able to get your message out to the people while avoiding answering questions that may alienate voters its popularity will ensure you reach a wide audience sure, let's give this a try right, so I think this is a Barry King 
Right, tonight on Barry King, I may or may not forget who my guests are, resulting in upwards of 30 seconds of awkward silence. The lovely woman to watch, who watches my grandkids is Rosa, or Rosita, or something like that. She's worried that she will be kicked out of this country. I don't know about you, but the world must be... Sorry, the world would be a less interesting place for me if it didn't have someone around to raise my kids. What's your stance on M M's uh let me see, uh should we give them um should we pardon them? Let me let me think um what's my stance for illegal, illegal immigrants? Um Of course I'm gonna support I fully support the program for immigrants, um sure I think this is the right thing to do. I'm gonna respond. Right, that's very good. Uh I'm gonna read this a bit fast. Right, so I'm gonna be inaugurated. Um, what will be the initial primary focus of your presidency? I'm sorry for reading a bit fast because um, this game does uh, move a bit quicker than I had expected. Um, let me think. I'm gonna say winning the war on terror. No, no, uh, vacation. That is not the answer. Never the answer. No taxes lead to prosperity. Um, to be quite honest, I think the lowering of taxes. Um, Seems like the right answer. Economic growth. Uh, we need programs to create jobs. Um, yeah, I think job creation is good. I'm going to create jobs for the American people. Yep, I'm being uh, pretty, pretty favored. Well, thanks, Barry King. Brave answers on Barry King Live. Impressive. That's good. Um, look at our awareness. I think uh, we should be pretty good. This is a different view. Nice view. Uh, I'm gonna go up the uh, top view. All right. Uh, do we have enough stamina? All right. Hollywood friend um, raises your awareness in the state by three percent per week. Wow, that's not bad. Um, let's look at our awareness. I'm gonna put these guys. Um, put them over here. Really? My my friend here. All right, fly this guy around. I'm gonna go next turn. All right. Um. Well, the raid does look a little intimidating, but um, I think it's okay as long as we keep the um, traditional, traditionally democrat states on our side. We should be pretty safe. And um, continue building campaign headquarters. All right. So um, I'm gonna do that. Few more headquarters. All right, we have run out of cash. Um, what about giving a speech? No, no, I'm gonna use special interest right now. Uh, I'm gonna get my fashion consultant, and I'm gonna try and see if I can get something like um, spin doctor. Uh, no, not yet. I'm gonna get a um, fixer. This will be uh, this guy will be useful later. Lowers your integrity by half in target state. Scandal monger. This guy um, needs to be removed. He's sent by Donald Trump. I'm gonna use my fixer to get him out of the game. Come on. Right. Scandal monger withdraws from election campaign. Right. Look at Donald Trump's sharp face. But it's okay. That should be the way. Oh, I see another um, opportunity over here. Uh, these are really risky, but I'm gonna give it a shot since I'm out of funds right now. Uh, right, it's because I'm out of funds. I'm gonna raise some funds for my air ticket and I'm gonna go there. Half the cost of ad creation. Wow, um, that's pretty amazing. Uh, I might do that in Ohio, for example, and go for national ads. Um, right, that'll be useful late game. We are like, um, I think, one quarter through the game. Um, let's see what we can do. Uh, we can add a bit more campaign headquarters. No enough cash. Um, how far are we away? 250,000. Uh, let's give a speech. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to um, 
I'm just gonna go all negative on Donald Trump. I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, right. Fundraise. Got 19,000. Um, okay. Every single cent by the taxpayer is uh, is appreciated. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Start building more HQs. Quarters, I'm gonna send this guy to um, Alaska, I think. This is Alaska, right? Yeah, I'm gonna send this guy to Alaska. This Hawaii. Um, Alright, so I'm sending this guy to um, Hawaii. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna try and build another one. I think I ran out of stamina. Right. Carry falling behind in early polls. More endorsements for Donald Trump. Um, but it's okay. I think it's pretty okay. It's not that bad. Uh, I mean, we are, I'm sure we can catch up. There's gonna be more campaign headquarters. Donald Trump's cash is um, pretty formidable. Not enough money. Um, I'm just gonna fundraise outright. Fifteen thousand. That should bring us um, across. Oh, Donald Trump's been really busy. I'm getting a bit, uh, a little stressed at how well he's doing. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna go all serious on uh, Ohio. I'm gonna go all serious on Ohio and stop hitting him with uh, negative ads. Right. I'm gonna go to Ohio, and I'm gonna start creating ad advertisements. Um, I'm going to go for TV advertisements and say that my opponent opposes the reduction of unemployment. Sure. Carry attacks the Trump record on reducing unemployment. Sure. Haha. So now we can see that we have a lot of buildings. We have uh, built up our base very well. Right. So um, hopefully that gives us, um, that benefit us in the long run. Alright, so I'm going to build more um, campaign headquarters all around. In turn, build more campaign headquarters, fly around to uh, other places and uh, build consulting offices. Consulting offices, I think around week 30 I'll start to go on the attack. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and hold back as much as I can. Okay, um, let's take a look. This guy is mine. This guy is mine. No, no, this guy is not mine. That's okay. Um, let's take another look at the polls. We are lagging behind. Um, oh, we have actually spent more money than Donald Trump. Oh, we can We cannot see how much... Uh, political capital and all the stuff he has spent. Let me see, um, he's campaigning hard on um, Fast and Fury, Christ Christian Nation. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and um, start fighting back soon. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to Florida. I'm gonna create Advertisements. I'm gonna say that. Um, let me see. Um, Donald Trump opposes uh, deficit reduction. I'm John Kerry, and I endorse this message. Right. Just keep attacking Donald Trump. Uh, let's go and do that. Uh, let's go and upgrade the stuff over here. Not enough cash. Um, then we create another advertisement. The benefit of using TV ads is that um, I believe he has national reach. And um, while newspaper ads is, um, only have local reach, uh, let me see. Um, state change is one, no national bonus. Whereas TV, I think there is a state change of five, national change of two, plus three national awareness increase for me. So I'm going to do that. Uh, do I not have enough cash? Um, Okay, so I'm gonna be HQ. Can I do that? Not enough cash as well. Um, right, I'll give a speech. Um, 
my opponent opposes. Then I'm going to enter. I'm going to be HQ. I'm going to create an ad. Um, I think I will just um, give more speeches. Yep, uh, I'm going to exploit Donald Trump's stack of credibility um, everywhere. I'm going to upgrade. Can I upgrade? Uh, fundraise. It's okay. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to try and go for this. Half the cost. Wow, that's great. Um, I think there's one more here. I'm hoping that this is a positive one. It increases the stamina cost of opponent in target state. Sure. Um, I'm going to put him in um, Florida. I want to keep Florida for myself. Okay, uh, let me see. Do we have a HQ over here? No, we do not. So let's get one over here. Uh, wow, Donald Trump is using TV advertisements as well. He supports reducing unemployment. Uh, that's not true, people. I'm going to convince you guys that that's not true. And I'm going to do that by using more advertisements. And I'm going to start by going everywhere, giving speeches that says that um, he does not support the reduction of unemployment. I'm going to try and make Donald Trump nervous. It's okay, I'm going to start picking up uh, more operatives. I'm going to get a fixer. I'm going to get a... Um, I'm going to get a smear merchant. I'm going to go all negative in, uh, in this. In this game, I'm going to go here. I really want to take Florida. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to Texas. And I'm going to start hitting him in Texas so that he will spend more time in Texas to um, regain his ground. I'm going to use newspaper ads and um, try and hit him. Uh, what can we do? Um, I think gas prices are too high. And I think my opponent favors high gas prices. I think I'm going to do a TV ad. Uh, now I'm going to use a newspaper ad. And I'm going to run back here and create another advertisement over here. I'm going to say that um, I'm going to build a headquarters, get it upgraded, so that I can talk about more issues. Create advertisement, TV. Um, where is that? Looks like it's not available yet, so I'm going to build another headquarters. This is um, highly contested, 50% against 50%. Um, I don't really want Obamacare to be in the top list. Um, let's talk about high gas prices. My opponent favors high gas prices. Ah, um, it's not that useful, but it's okay. I'm going to talk about it again and again and uh, make it an issue, an important key issue. High gas prices, my opponent favors that. Um, it's okay. I'm going to try and bring in um, Spin Doctor to favor my issue. Let me see what else can I bring in. Um, can I bring in a consultant? Webmaster. Yep, I'm going to bring in Webmaster to reduce my advertisement cost. I'm going to go here. Oh, ah, Donald Trump has taken the um, media opportunity. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, we have one here. I'm going to go here. Mary King Live, sure. We've had some success and uh, we're going to do it again. Uh, let's see. What do you think about the high cost of the pump? Obviously, we must reduce the, co the cost of the pump. Um, right, let, let's go Let's go crazy. Um, would be okay. Hmm. I'm going to investigate oil companies. In the fall tax, um, hmm, let's try this. Wow, that's good. That's your that's the right answer, my friends. Right, um, let me see. Uh, torturing people, so this is about torture. Um, 
torture doesn't work. No torture. If I'm not wrong, it's against the Geneva Convention. Alright, so I'm going to say no torture. Well done. Looks like we've done pretty well for ourselves. Thanks, Barry King. Strong showing on Barry King Live wins independence. Well, that's good. Let's look at the polls again. Um, now we are closer. Donald Trump was leading uh, by a lot, and now we are bridging the gap. Uh, we are slightly behind the popular vote. We have spent more money than Donald Trump. And uh, yeah, we are crushing him, I think. And we will be crushing him. Uh, I feel pretty confident about this game right now. There's more blue, more purple, and uh, less red. And um, yeah, so I'm going to cut this off, uh, cut this video off right, right here. And um, continue the next episode. So um, see you guys. If you, if you guys you like this episode, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, so that I, I will know what you guys want and um, do more of it. Alright, see ya.